Hi guys, my name is Maria and today I'm going to be talking to you about the ethnographic research done in Alto de Crucerio and with the Canela Indians of Brazil in hopes that you understand ethnographic research process a little bit more, a little bit better. Okay, so ethnographic research is a major tool in anthropology and it incorporates field work with the people within the society as well as the written out outcome of such field work. Uh, the number one thing to remember when doing ethnographic research is to try to stay away from ethnocentrism. Ethnocentrism is the belief that your culture is much better than anybody else's. Ethnographic research um, include participant observation, which is the collecting of cultural data uh, by observing people's behavior. Uh, conversation and interviews are also incorporated, as well as key consultants. Um, the key consultants are people in the society who have um, proper training or might have like a uh, mutual language that you can communi communicate through. When conducting ethnographic research, you can take um, two different points of views. Um, you can take the emic point of view, which is um, coming straight from the source. That means, you know, working one-on-one -on -one with the people within the community or society. Or the ethique or ethic, uh, which is gathering information from an outsider, somebody that's been um, research doing research. What I noticed um, when doing research on both of these cultures was that both have developed a social system to benef benefit them and their communities. Uh, for example, in the Alto de Crucerio case, um, the women there, uh, something that Nancy noticed uh, when she went uh, to volunteer in the Peace Corps was that the women were not mourning their children at all. Once the child was born um, and it died, they would just go straight to burying it. They wouldn't do. They wouldn't have any ceremony, cer ceremonial services. Uh, they wouldn't have like there. Nobody would cry their deaths. Um, and in extreme cases, uh, the women, if they believe that the child wasn't going to make it once it was born, if it was malnutrition or just look weak or for whatever reason that they thought that the baby wasn't going to make it, they would just put it in a room and wait for the baby to die. Um, now with the Canela Indians, um, what I, what the anthropologists noted was that um, the Canela Indians have developed this whole um, system in their society where the number one priority as a group, as a tribe, was um, the prosperity in their community. So that meant sharing everything, food, bodies, everything. So, um, for example, they have, they hold this, um, it's called the Wild Boar Festival, where the women, uh, married and single, and all the men, um, all dance together, and um, the men are able to have sex with women who have denied them before, because the women will sleep with you, period, because it's the festival. Um, and in these festivals, there's an exchange of meat for, for sex. So that was very, very interesting, and it's ex very essential for their um, survival, uh, which brings me to the next point. These tools are the reason why these um, cultures are still alive. And uh, for example, in the case of the Alto women, um, they have a mortality rate of 82%, and so they have uh, developed this technique that helps them get through these tough times just because it's become such a normality in their culture. And I believe it has to do a lot with the community itself because a lot of the women um, within this community reinforce this. Uh, and what I mean by that is when a woman is seen crying um, over her child's death, it's seen as her being crazy. And the women in the, in the community will tell the, the woman that's mourning her child that they're basically being selfish, that um, God, that this is just a little angel that God is taking with him now, and that if they keep crying, they're gonna weigh down the angel's um, wings and he's not gonna be able to fly to heaven. So it has a lot to do with the community as a whole contributing and reinforcing this uh, phenomenon. Uh, now with the Canela Indian, there has been cases where um, not all parties are happy with that. Uh, for example, uh, the, this guy, Pedro, um, in the Canela tribe, he's married to this girl named Yontam. And the girl, during the festival, she wanted to go out and have fun and, you know, participate. And that involves having sex with a different man other than her husband. 
Now her husband her husband was not for it at all, even though it's been part of their culture for generations and generations. Um, he made a huge deal and said she couldn't go. Well, she still went, and when she got home, he made a huge deal, a huge scene, and everybody in the in the um, uh, neighboring houses all realized what was going on. They knew that he was upset because of that. So the men, other men, um, around the community they came out and tried to defend him and just this whole big ordeal happened so the next day of course the leader gathered everybody together and made sure that they made they made peace um they talked they talked about it they told him hey you can't act like this you know that's it's not it goes totally against our beliefs you need to chill out and the children did something that i thought was hilarious they reenacted what had happened the night before. They all started hitting each other, like they were all laughing and like hit, just in a way trying to let the grown-ups know just how silly they were. With the help of ethnographic research, we were able to find all these different details about these two different cultures and are able to understand it more because I feel like as a human instinct, um, you tend to judge, like prejudge somebody. And so it's it's just very um, fascinating to see how they handle how how they handle things with such simplicity. Like we, I feel like we get wrapped up in our in our world and technology and all this stuff all the time. So, um, ethnographic research is definitely something that um, I will be looking into, and I hope you guys are in, uh, inspired to look into it as well. Thank you.